what have I been doing for the last couple of decades trying to make a life living as a board game designer, which is harder than you would think. Over the years I've designed games such as Brass, Discworld Ankh-Morpork, Pork, uh, A Few Acres of Snow, among others. There's a long list. It's a very long list and it's just going to get longer. The, the Fighting Fantasy Adventure game is uh, it's a solo cooperative game for up to four players set in the world uh, created by Ian Livingstone and Steve Jackson with their Fighting Fantasy books. You get to enter these adventures with your friends rather than doing it solo. The core mechanism is very simple. Uh, you've got two decks of cards. One creates the dungeon that you're exploring and the other set of cards tells you what's in each of the rooms. Very simple, quick to set up, quick to play, um, but I'd like to think a lot of fun. You could play it on your own, but to be honest, if you're going to play it on your own, you're probably better off just playing one of the original books. Uh, the fun of this is playing in a group because it's all, role playing is all about the group discussion. So it's like, which way do we go? Who's going to open the door? Should somebody open the box? And having those discussions with yourself is, is, a, is a worrying sign. Whereas if you've got a group of people, you, you can have those discussions. And that, that's a lot of the fun of role playing is the, the group dynamic. Back when I moved over here in 2017, uh, I went to a meeting with um, a company called Defiant, a video games company. Uh, and the owner was, wanted to test out uh, this role-playing card game he had. The system he had was more of a tell-your-own-story kind of thing. But the, the, the idea struck me. I thought, that, that's a neat idea. The idea of a nice, simple role-playing game in a format of just cards. The following year, I bumped into Ian Livingston at the UK Games Expo, and he was asked, asked me if I'd be interested in doing some work on the fighting fantasy game. And then I'm thinking, ah, oh, if I put the two together, um, and that ended up as a fighting fantasy adventures. I did show it to a number of other companies, um, but it's a very big project. Effectively, I, I came to the realization if I'm going to make this work, I actually have to create a company purely based around doing this game because it's not a one-off. There's going to be a series of adventures. There's going to be a series of campaigns. So the, the, first, the first campaign is going to have five adventures in it. Then if this is successful, there'll be another campaign with another five adventures and then another one and another one. So in theory, this could go on for a long time. Whereas most games are just one-offs where, you know, you do the game, boom, you put it out there, you move on to the next project. But this is an ongoing thing. And, and therefore, for consistency of artwork, I need an art director. So that means I need to employ somebody full time just to look after the artwork for this. Uh, also, um, because as well as doing Kickstarter, we'll be doing retail. I also need a business manager who can handle production, logistics. Back in the old days with Tree Frog, you know, I could just do stuff with myself and Julia. With this, with this project, I need a team of people. It would be difficult for most other companies, that they're not really set up for doing this kind of thing because, because there is so much work on it. So, uh, yeah, it's coming to the realization if it's going to happen, going to have to do it myself <laughs> with my friends. Fingers crossed, touch wood. If it's successful, then what we'll do is we'll look at developing the game for different genres. Um, for instance, you know, you could do a Call of Cthulhu version. You can do one set in space. That, that As with role playing itself, there, there are no limitations, there's no barriers. It, it, it just, there's a, uh, an infinite number of possibilities out there. Um, and I'm also quite keen to explore the idea of other, getting other people to use the system to create their own adventures. Because you know, I'm, I'm a designer, I'm not, I'm not a writer. You know, I, you know, me, I'm like the mechanic who can just do do the rules. I'm not somebody who wants to write stories, but but this system is a way for people to tell stories. So I, uh, you know, I'm interested to see how we can involve other people in this ongoing process. I think the key thing is, is simplicity. Uh, it's a really simple game to get into, and I'm hoping it will appeal to those people who 
maybe are interested in role playing, but are put off by the complexity of what's already on the market. Um, it's a game you can dip into whenever you want. There's five adventures I I in each campaign, but you know you choose how long you want to play them over. Um, and even though you can only play the adventures once, you you can run it as a games master for friends and family. So you can reuse them with different groups. It's going great. We need to check the final pieces because there's a lot that can go wrong. So hopefully we'll have those bits in the next couple of weeks and then we'll be pressing the go button, hopefully probably towards the end of June. Then it'll be a couple of months after that for production and then shipping it probably uh, early September. Wow. I've been a busy boy. Um, so because now I've got this team, you know, now that I'm, you know, I've got my own company up and running, it's like, what other things can we do? So I've decided to do another train game because I was missing it. I was missing the train game action. So I'm working on a train game called Steam Power, which is going to be very much done in the style of Bloodstones. So really nice, high quality pieces and fake silk maps. Yeah, this is going to look awesome. We're looking to do that towards the end of the year. Other stuff I'm working on, I'm working on another game called Animal Rules Football, which is loosely based on Australian rules football, except you get teams of animals. So you get to play with one team as kangaroos, you have a team of cockatoos, kookaburras, and it's light fun to play a game. And uh, But yeah, I've already found an artist for that who, who's cracking away with that. So that should be released sometime next year. Be there July 1st, ready to press that button on Kickstarter and uh, you will not be disappointed. Yeah.